I am working on campus today, and I brought my usual accoutrements with me, and I thought I would use the occasion of sitting in my office and waiting for students to come to do a what's in my bag video. Here we go. Okay, so this is my backpack. It's a little small, um, and I usually carry this during the summer, but I needed something to take with me. So in the front, I have my wallet, which is a hobo wallet. Opens up, has some money in there. Not that exciting. Umbrella on the outside, but it's really what's on the inside. So I have a few sub things that I organize into. So this is sort of a personal kit with like sunscreen, you know, lip balm and EpiPen for my son. Um, you know, just various necessities that you might need during the day. And then the thing that I'm really gonna get into this one-handed and not break everything on my desk oh my god it's this so this is the idra organizer from tokyo pen shop and she just recorded a video of hers which kind of inspired me to do my own since this is what i use when i come to school so it has this is pretty big i don't know if you can see i don't know exactly how big it is it's it's at least like eight by eight um, kind of like 8 by 11, 8 by 10, something like that. Um, it has these two outside pockets. They're just open. On the other side, a large pocket here and then a zip one. I don't even think I have anything in the outside one over here. Nothing. Yeah. As you see, it has this lovely floral in liner. On the outside, I have a couple of go-to items. I have a little kitty puffy sticker. And I have my new favorite ballpoint pen. For some reason, I'm going back to ballpoint these days. It's the Pilot Acro, point, Acro Ball point 0.5. More on that in a second. A binder clip. And then I have just hand lotion and lip balm for quick grab. Let's see what's on the inside. Okay, so I've opened it up. And as you can see, I have another pen case on the inside. Um, I can deal with that in a second. Um, and then I have my two notebook and planner type things. So this one I have looked at before. I have just a regular A5 Hobonichi notebook in here. And then this is where I keep like my address book and my stamps. Sorry, I'm doing this one handed. So it's just an A5 in there. Oops. Um, some pictures, some stickers, and then just notes. And then in the back, that's where I keep my stamps and just any other little supplies that I might need. But this is just kind of my commonplace notebook for capturing things, um, for notes that kind of overflow from the daily planner, which is in here. And this is my nerve center planner where everything goes. This is where my whole week gets planned. This is where I do all the habit tracking, notes from meetings, everything goes in here. And again, back to ballpoint. This is sort of like that other pen that I just showed you, but this is the Acro 1000, also 0.5 in black um, with the rose gold metallic. And it's a little slimmer, a little slicker feel. Just, you know, all the, all the planning things. And I have my stickers all over it because I'm like that. So on the inside, there are two interior zip pockets. This one's empty right now. I have a few tools squirreled away in here. So I have this Tombow two-way correction tape, which I like just in case I make an error in writing. I have a racer on the back, glasses, wipe, always need that. And then I have just my two favorite washi tapes at the moment. This one has unicorns on it. Um, and then these are cutting tools. So this wraps around the washi tape so that you can use it like a little tape dispenser. It's got a little serrated edge there. And then this set a stick of scissors with. All right, then there is this pen case, which my mom got for me recently. Sim the same brand, floral on the inside. One side, I have all of my favorite markers and highlighters. Love these for capturing big ideas. I also used to grade with these all the time. Uh, this is the oops, clean dot, color dot. I use that for habit tracking this month. And then these I have been using a ton. 
just with reading and actually just tracking my grading, just, you know, crossing off students as I grade them, um, highlighting any kind of outstanding papers. This one is interesting. I haven't been using this one as much. It's just, it's a single tip on the side, but then it has a little gray fine tip, which I thought, you know, why not? I might need that. So that's one side. Other side are my favorite pens right now. Sorry. There we go. Hopefully not making this too nauseating to watch. Um, so again, they go to Pilot Acroball. This is another version, of like sort of this buff. The Hobonichi pen, Jetstream. A Fude Touch tip, which I'm terrible at using. My favorite Zebra Sarasas in the Grand and in this vintage. Love that. Love all those colors. Another brush pen, purple. Got to have a pencil, a juice. This is relatively new also. This is, what is this called? The Uni. Um, what size is this? Yeah. 0.38. And it is in this Bordeaux black. It's a nice one. A nice sparkly pen. These, this I've been using for a long time. This I the high, Pilot High Tech C. I tend to use this if I'm going to write in a book, which I don't always do, but if I'm going to, I use that. And then this is just another. Got this in a sample of blue black. No, this is a, just a regular black. Uniball Signo. 0.38. I've been going much more towards the 0.5 recently, back to a thicker tip. I used to really, really love. The, the thin tip, but for some reason, I've been wanting ballpoint instead of gel, and I've been wanting um, a, a thicker tip instead. Anyways, that's what I brought with me today in my beautiful office. Look at that. Thanks.